Harold the Hungry Plant. Harold the Hungry Plant. Written by William Harriman. Illustrated by John Kastner. Focus question. Is this story real or fiction? How do you know? One afternoon, April was doing her homework. One afternoon, April was doing her homework. When her father brought her a present. When her father brought her a present. He handed her a funny-looking plant. He handed her a funny-looking plant called a picture plant. Call a picture plant. This is a special plant, he told her. It eats insects. Wow, April replied. That's cool. This is a special plant. He taught her, "Is it insect?" Wow, April replied, "That's cool." April took the plant up to her room and set it on the window sill. She wanted it to get some sun. "I'll name you Harold," she said to the plant. April took the plant up. To her room and said, "Is on the window sill." So she wanted is to get some sun. I'll name your herder," she said to the plant. She began to look at the little book that came with the plant. It showed pictures of flies and spiders. Being eaten by the plant, April learned that she was only supposed to feed Harold once a week. She began to look at the little book that came with the plant. It showed pictures of fields and spider being eaten by the plant. April learned. April learned that she was only supposed to feel horror once a week. April went downstairs and outside. She looked around the yard and found a small ant hill. She caught some of the ants. In a jar, and took them to her room. April went went. April went downstairs and outside. She looked around the yard and found a small ant thing. She quarter some of the ant in a jar and took them to her room. April thought the way Harold ate insects was really strange. April thought the way Harold ate insects was very strange. But she liked him. But she liked him. On her way out of her room. On her way out of her room. She grabbed some jelly beans from a jar on her dresser. She jarred some jelly bean. For a jar on her dresser, Harold saw this and wondered what a jelly bean might taste like. Horror saw this and wonderful wonder what a jelly bean might taste like. Flies and ants are nice. Flies and ants are nice. But a red jelly bean would be very nice. But a red jelly bean would be very nice. The next time Harold saw April bringing him some ants, he thought about the jelly beans she always ate. He wanted a red one.
But when she opened the lid, it was just more ants. At least they were the spicy red kind. The next time Horace saw Emperor bringing some, him some ant, he thought about the jelly bean she always ate. He waited a red one, but when she opened the lid, it was just small ant. As lad, they were the spicy red kind. Next week, April brought Harold up. The next week, April brought Harold fat wiggly worm. A fat wiggly worm. She dropped the worm straight into his pitcher. She dropped the worm straight into his pitcher. It was a nice treat for Harold. After only eating ants, it was a nice treat for her. After only eating ants for the last few weeks, for the last few weeks, but he still wanted a red jelly bean. But he still wanted a red jelly bean. A week later. April brought Harold more insects. Harold thought about jelly beans. He thought and thought as hard as he could. Jelly beans, jelly beans, jelly beans, jelly beans. He repeated the thought over and over. April ate a couple of jelly beans before feeding Harold more insects. Oh, a week later, Apple bring Horror more insect. Horror thought about jelly bean. He thought and thought as hard as he could. Jelly bean, jelly bean, jelly bean, jelly bean. He repeated the thought over and over. Oh, erupt. And a cut of jelly bean, half be more filling harder, more instead. When April opened the lid to Harold's home, she only had a couple of small spiders. Harold was disappointed that she didn't feed him a red jelly bean, but he was very hungry. He felt. When April opened the lid to Harold's home, she only had a couple of small spiders. Harold was disappointed that she didn't feed him a red jelly bean, but he was very hungry. He felt grateful that April fed him so well, yet he really wanted a jelly bean. When April opened the lid to her home. She only had a cup of small spider. Horror was distant that she didn't feed him a red jelly bean, but he very hungry. He felt grateful that April fed him so well. Yet, yet he really wanted a jelly bean. The next day, April noticed. The next day, April noticed that Harold looked happy. Thus, Harold looked not happy. Hi there, Harold. Hi there, Harold. She said. She said. You sure look happy today. Did you like the jelly bean? You sure look happy today. Did you like the jelly bean? Harold tried to smile by curling one of his leaves. Harold tried to smile by curling one of his leaves. He felt very happy. He felt very happy. 
He really enjoyed his jelly bean. He really enjoyed his jelly bean. From that day on, Harold got one red jelly bean each week. From that day on, Harold got one red jelly bean each work each week. It was a mild gray twist be between later meat. It was a midweek treat between regular meals. He grew bigger and stronger. He grew bigger and stronger. Soon he was big enough to eat crickets and grasshoppers. Soon he was big and joined to eat cricket and grasshoppers. April and Harold were good friends. Harold even got to go to school with her once for show and tell. That day he only got a cricket to eat. A couple of days later, though. He got a green jelly bean. Wow! Thought Harold. All the colors are tasty. April and Harold were good friends. Harold even got to go to school with her once of shower and tell. That day. He only got a cricket to eat, a croquet of date late. That he got a green jelly bean. Wow! That horror! All the colors are tasty.